is it that the Church 23 is response to week two of contests for daily SW collection? And in this week, was we had to um, come up with a design for our own vehicle. Now, by the way, at first I thought I should mention this time my idea probably won't be as original as my last idea. Because my idea for this time is just kind of more because, you know, it's something I want to see. Not really just because. You know, I think a lot of people will like it. You know, it, it was the last one I that was kind of similar, but that one I was pretty sure somebody would like at least. And you know, with this one, I'm not sure if anybody will like it. I think it's, I'm thinking some people might like it, but it's not a very large audience of people who probably like it. But anyway, I don't want to talk about it too much yet because you know I don't want to give away what it is yet. But you know, I'll give away that in a second. Well, practically right now. So, then let's get on to the vehicle. Okay, then my, guys, my idea for a vehicle, as you guys can probably tell, would be that you should remake the vintage troop transport. This is made to go with, you know, Imperial Stormtroopers. Obviously, because they first made the vintage days, they didn't have, like, clones or battle droids or anything like that back then. Well, I guess it could also, could have been for Rebels, but... You know, it came out in A New Hope, and I don't think they had any, like, of the Rebel Fleet Troopers, so I can't think of what Rebels it would carry. But, anyway, though. So, like I said, this would be the mate to go with Stormtroopers, and obviously it'd be a remake of the old one. And, I'm not gonna talk about what, how many figures they'll include yet, though, I'll talk about that later in the video. And, obviously, you know, it'd be very similar, you know, like, in size and stuff like that. But the gun on top would probably be like, you know, probably firing missiles and stuff like that. I think it, I'm, I'm not sure, but I think that the old one had lights and sound. Oh, yeah, yeah, it did. I was trying to think for a second. But, honestly, I think it, you know, it probably would still have lights and sound. But it probably also, like if you guys can tell there's a gun on top, that would probably fire missiles. And obviously, you know, you could still put people in the cockpit and you can hold six figures on it, three on each side, then, you know, let's get on to talking about the figures included. Okay, guys, the figures that would be included with this vehicle, the troop transport would be, um, it would include two vintage collection, I mean, not, not two, sorry, three vintage collection stormtroopers. And you can see on this screen, there's two Stormtroopers, and if you're not extremely familiar with the Vintage Collection Stormtroopers, there have been two helmet variants. First, they came out with the one on the left, then the one on the right. And I thought I should mention, I would make sure, like, you know, if this was, I was marketing this Hasbro, well, I'd make sure that, that there were three on the right were included. You know, that, so it would be an accurate helmet Stormtrooper. But, now that's because I really like this version of Stormtrooper, but... I'm not sure if most people would agree with that. But to me, it seems like that's the one Hasbro would be most likely to include. Because you know, it's the newest Stormtrooper. Just to, like, at this point, it is. But anyway, though, then I'll have one more part to finish up this video. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it for my idea. I say, okay, um, I, I really don't think this would market incredibly well. I think that, you know, it'd be pretty cool for, like, you know, people who like the vintage collection, you know, like, people who are alive for the vintage figures, you know, because, like, for nostalgia and everything, you know, they would probably, like, have to have it for the box and everything, you know, because it'd be vintage style, of course, because, you know, if it came out nowadays, you know, that's the boxes look like nowadays, but anyway, though, you know, I think it'd market pretty well to, like, Imperial Army Builders also. Other than that, I'm not really sure if it, if it sells incredibly well, but I just really like to see it personally. So, it's the first thing I thought of, and personally, I think it was the best thing I thought of. But that's my opinion. Yeah, you know, I'll let you guys decide what you think. But anyway, that's pretty much it for my idea. Hope you guys like it, and until next time, may the force be with you. Bye.